Okay, this week on Demon of the Week, we are looking at Erominus. Join me over on Patreon, where you will find all of my books, services, and courses in the shop, blog posts, and the various tiers which you can explore. You can get magical training in the Temple of the Horned Serpent First Degree, and joining as a free member gets you started with that, or explore the Magical Journal and the Egregore Project. Hope to see you there. Now, if I remember correctly, this is one of the ones that was requested. Um, there isn't a lot of information about Erominus, but uh, this is what I could pull together anyway. So, there seems to be only two places that the name Erominus uh, is actually mentioned, and this is only because of George Den with his German translation of the Book of uh, Sacred Magic of Abramelin the Mage. Um, on Joseph A. Peterson's um, site, Esoteric Archives, or otherwise known as Twilight Grotto, the text of the book is mentioned with a note by Den, and it is that note where the name Erominus appears. Um, so the text itself, before uh, Den's note, um, that reads, the following be those of Astaroth, viz. I'm going to have a load of weird names now. Aman, Kamal, Toxai, Cateron, Rax, Gonogin, um, Shelegon, uh, Ginar, Isiamon, Bahal, Darek, Ishkigas, Golen, Grominus, um, Rigios, Nimerix, Herg, Argilon, Okiri, Fagani, uh, Hippolos, Ilosen, Iloson, Kamonix, Baphomal, Alan, Apor, Menos, uh, Ombalat, Quartas, Ugupin, Ariex, Lepaka, Kolefi, and this equals 32 spirits servient. So in the Den notes, uh, those names are as follows Aman, Kamal, Texai, Cateron, Rax, Shelagon, Giriar, Asianon, Bahal, Barak, Golog, Erominus, uh, Kigios, Nimerix, Hiri, Okurgi, um, Faguni, Hippolepos, um, Iloson, Kamonix, Alephi, Apormenos, Ombalafa, Garsas, Ugrupon, um, Gom, Gom, Gomagin, Argilon, Iarau, uh, something like that, um, Lepacha, Kalotis, Ichigas, uh, and Baphomel. I, I love saying these names, it just makes me <laughs> feel like I'm like in a, in a different world or something. But anyway, um, after a series of elimination, you can deduce that Den's Erominus is the original Grominus from the original text, anyway. Uh, I'm not sure where the translation got changed to Erominus, um, but anyway, anyway, let's carry on. So, beyond that, uh, it seems the only other mention is in Theodore Rose's book, uh, Lucifer and the Hidden Demons, because this speaks specifically about the working with the spirits of um, the um, um, sacred magic of Bremen and the Mage. Um, now, just bear in mind that uh, based on all of this, um, Rose's um, assertions are probably very much based in, in UPG. Uh, there's nothing wrong with UPG, but just bear that in mind. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be better if you actually go speak to the spirit itself and just make sure that these particular aspects are um, what they what the spirit actually deals with, because this information isn't found anywhere else. You know, these spirits um, were part of um, the sacred magic of Abramel and the Mage, and that specific grimoire, and that specific working, where you are gaining knowledge, knowledge and conversation with your um, holy guardian angel, and then you are um, you go on to the process of, of taking command of the, the, the various demons. Um, and it's it works through a specific eye hierarchy, but there are hundreds and hundreds of demons in this grimoire, and nowhere is it listed what each one does. Okay, nowhere. So this is purely UPG. This is people going to the spirits themselves and asking, you know, what can you help me with? Um, so bear that in mind. 
Um, UPG, nothing wrong with it, but it hasn't been tested by many, many people. Okay, just remember that when you work with them. So, having said that, in uh, Rose's book, uh, he mentions that you can work with uh, Eremonos uh, for an increase in luck when gambling. He goes on to explain that when you win at gambling, it brings an intense rush of pleasure. The ritual does not improve your skills for games that involve skill as well as chance, but improves your fortune. Um, improved fortune does not guarantee a win, but if you are going to gamble, you would be a fool to absent magic from uh, your activity. That I find a bit confusing, but that's what it says. Um, and then also the second uh, part of this, if you want to work with uh, this particular spirit, also brings financial loss to those who build their success on your work or ideas or reputation. And um, further goes on to explain that when someone or somebody um, has built their business by using your abilities, reputation or even your name, you may wish them great harm. If you do wish to cause them harm for leeching off you, this power will bring many instances of damaging financial loss. All right. So that's really it for um, Irimanos. And um, how much really uh, more I can say about that. So uh, thanks for watching. And I'll be back next week with more. Cheerio. Bye bye.